Ahoy, my delightful denizens of the desk. Welcome to the whimsical world of Worktopia, where the office is a never-ending carnival and the water cooler whispers secrets sweeter than a love-struck pigeon. I am your guide, Lady Landa, here to spin you a tale of two legendary figures who rule the roost of ridiculousness. Lady Leadership, the darling of good bosses, and Baron Befuddlement, the bumbling baron of bad bosses. Buckle up, dear comrades, as we embark on a rollicking ride through the realms of radiant results and muddled mandates. The Ballad of Lady Leadership. In the realm of radiant results, Lady Leadership reigned with a grace that glowed like the soft light of dawn. Her voice was a melody that harmonized high hopes with the hardy hum of hard work. Under her guidance, the desk knights flourished, their spirits buoyed by the winds of encouragement and sails set by the stars of strategic vision. Meetings were merry, deadlines delightful dalliances, and feedback flowed like fine wine, nurturing growth and glistening with the golden hues of constructive criticism. The land thrived, for Lady Leadership knew the true treasure was not in the tomes of targets met, but in the hearts of her happy team. The Chronicles of Baron Befuddlement. Meanwhile, in the murky moors of muddled mandates, Baron Befuddlement brewed a bewildering broth of bafflement. His commands were cryptic, cloaked in the fog of ambiguity, sending the squires of spreadsheets on quests with no clear quests and goals as graspable as morning mist. The realm reeled in the throes of confusion, deadlines danced away like will-o'-the-wisps, and feedback fizzled like a damp firework, leaving only the smoky scent of demoralization. In the courts of barren befuddlement, the only bounty was a bewildering bewilderment, and the only harvest, a heap of harried headaches. The duel of destinies, the fates of Worktopia decreed that Lady Leadership and Baron Befuddlement should cross paths at the Conference of Convergence, where realms rallied to regale tales of triumphs and tribulations. Lady Leadership, with her banner of empathy unfurled, offered an olive branch of mentorship to the beleaguered Baron, a chance to cleanse the confusion that clung to his cloak. The transformation of Baron Befuddlement in a twist as unexpected as a pop quiz in a pottery class, Baron Befuddlement beheld the beacon that was Lady Leadership and felt the fog in his fortress begin to fade. Inch by inch, he embraced the clarity of communication, the splendor of specificity and the radiance of recognition. The moors of muddled mandates slowly but surely blossomed into the gardens of guided growth, where once weary workers now waltzed with well-defined purpose. In the tapestry of Worktopia, where the threads of good bosses and bad weave a narrative rich and rife with lessons, Lady Leadership and the reformed Baron Befuddlement stand as testaments to the transformative power of positive leadership and the redemption that awaits in the embrace of better Boston. And so, the quills of Worktopia scribe on, for in every boss there lies the potential for both befuddlement and brilliance. And so, my beloved Brigade of the Bazaar, we conclude our comedic caper through the contrasting kingdoms of Lady Leadership and Baron Befuddlement. In the end, remember this. Every boss has a bit of brilliance and a dash of befuddlement within. Embrace the chaos, cherish the clarity, and may your workdays be filled with laughter and lunacy. Farewell, my friends, and may your office escapades always be as whimsical as a waltz with a will-o'-the-wisp.